Hello YouTube and welcome to sanding this old skillet. I've been doing this by hand. I did test with my four and a half inch grinder and it just did not work. I've seen it done on YouTube. I uh, you can almost I can find it where it was just not flat, it would just make it wavy. I started with 80 grit emery paper. It'll show up aluminum oxide cloth. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm down to 180. I used all my 80 grit. This is just a jar full of nails. I added some piece of metal to it. And the top has like some serrations. Get in camera here. So it grabs a paper good. I went straight across, back and forth. This pan was bowed up in the middle. I don't know if it's because I threw it in the fire last night to burn it off. But I think it was that way before. Now it's almost gone. Before you could rock this, I rocked a little bit that way. This ten and a half inch lodge. Uh, wire brushed it with the drill. Different brushes. I use brushes like these, and I also use these type of brushes. Stuff falling off the shelf here. But this works good. You'll tear up your paper. You'll you'll know you're doing work there. But it takes a lot of the muscle work out. Is why I wanted to show this. You have to use a little up in here, or use your fingers. But if you can see, I'll snap some pictures of this. It looks a lot better than the side does. This was way too rough for me. I was not even going to waste my time seasoning a skillet this bad. Not saying anything bad about the company, but it's just not the finish I like. I haven't had any luck with it. Like I said, you go around in a circle. You don't take a lot of force. If you was, say, just had this, that's a lot of pressure. You're going to wear your arm out and get too old for that. If you could fill this full of lead, this could weigh five pounds. It wouldn't matter to me. It just so it is hard to move around. I've had several hours into this. If this is just a few minutes. I have several hours of taking a break, coming back, doing this. So it is well worth it. And you don't need any power tools. And I think you'll get a better flat surface. Because I took that bow out of there that was in there. So, thanks for watching. I'll snap a couple pictures of this so you can see what it looks like. And you can try it yourself there. But I found this at Harbor Freight. Get it in a big pack real cheap. Better to use than sandpaper.